he was always learning from everyone and everything around him, from the dog, from the fish tank, from the scientists who came to visit, from poetry, from artwork, from me. And as a child, I learned from him that learning never stops. It is uh, more than fashionable. It is inculcated by our great universities who believe there is such a thing as psychology, which is different from sociology, and such a thing as anthropology, which is different from both, and such a thing as aesthetics or art criticism, which is different from both, all three, all four, whatever, and that the world is made of separable items of knowledge in which, if you were a student, you could be examined by a series of disconnected questions called true or false quizzes, quiz bits, as you might say. And the first point I want to get over to you is that the world is not like that at all, or let us be more polite. The world in which I live is not like that at all, and as to you, it's your business to live in whatever world you want to. Gregory Bateson challenged us to rethink or to stand back and try to perceive in, in a different way, to see how reality is actually operating. How does biology work? How do we work? Uh, how does even our own thinking get determined by larger ideas? When finally one of his ideas went kathunk and fell into place, uh, and it was it, the waves, like the whale flapping its tail, were enormous and just echoed out into all these different disciplines. So his inspirational quality was really quite extraordinary. That he worked in so many disciplines is a consequence of his way of thinking. He was not interested in specializing in a narrow field. He was interested in larger patterns. He was interested in how things are connected and especially how living things are connected. From biology at the beginning into anthropology, into systems of ideas, pathologies of systems of ideas, and then to systems of ideas which are how we all try to live together. And we all includes the animals and the plants as well as you and me. Looking at just how reality unfolds and how it all, how it all works, and when you take a little piece of it, then you just look at that little piece and you come up with a lot of erroneous interpretations of what's going on.